I don't want any woman around my staff walking around feeling that she's not important, that she can't come to me, that she can't talk to me, that she won't be promoted. It's something I think we have to share. And I think it's something for me that started in school because I knew I could fight better than most of the people around me. <laughs> Once again, no, it's something my father taught me how to fight. So I didn't have to, but he also taught me not to be a bully and never to use this mm -hmm. to hurt other people. So knowing this in my own head, it gave me this freedom to then say, to disarm people a bit. So if you were a girl who was tuned up and ready for whatever, I would find a funny way mm -hmm. to let you off the hook. I really feel a lot of women want to get off the hook with this, mm -hmm. but they don't have that out necessarily. They need other women to sort of give them that olive, right. olive branch. So, so part, part of what I love about what you're saying, though, is when you talk about, well, on my staff, right? Because part of the point here is you are an empowered person, right? You're a person who now has a staff, who has a certain level of privilege that comes from all of what you've done. But because you came from a, a place that was under, and that, you yes. know, a, a sort of Drake, you know, started from the yes. bottom moment, right? Right. Then, then your perception of what would constitute a reasonable way to behave towards one's staff helps you to be kind of a better boss in that yes, way. Yes, I think it does. And, and I think it's important that even as we talk about a desire for unity among women, and I do, there's a way in which, you know, the real housewives of pick your city or our kind of social media angst towards one another. But at the same time, I just also want to remember that, like, the mean girls goes back to Miss Scarlet and Mammy. Yes, and the idea that those with power and with money treated those who were of different races, who were disempowered in a, in a way that was structurally mean. Mm -hmm. And so part of what we have to do is like, yes, we gotta be worried about what people say to each other, but we also have to be very clear that whenever we're in a structure of some relative power that we treat women who have supposedly less than us, fewer resources, as, as equal partners. As equals.